Hey guys, before this video starts, I just want to announce that I have dropped my first ever merch and it'll mean the world for me if you guys could check it out and support this channel. The merch is really comfy. Buy some. Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually stream with a super slow internet speed to Mixer. Look at my upload speed. If you haven't noticed, it's below 1 megabits per second, which is ridiculous to stream with, okay? So after a long time of research, after a long time of testing, I've actually managed to stream without any lag whatsoever. Anyways, if you are interested to find out how I did that, then be sure to watch this video till the end because it's really, really important for you if you want to stream with a super slow upload speed all right so anyways if you guys have watched my previous videos i've actually made a video on how to stream to mixer and i basically made a video on the best streaming settings on mixer but those settings are basically for the people who have a decent upload speed basically us the peasants we need basically special settings so we can stream with the lowest quality ever but nevertheless we can actually stream which is the important thing Anyways, these settings are actually for OBS Studio, but you can translate these settings in any program that you want, like the normal OBS or basically Streamlabs OBS. You can basically stream with a super slow upload speed in any program that you want. Anyways, open up Streamlabs OBS. If you do not know how to make it look like this, go ahead and watch this video on the top right corner of the screen and go ahead and navigate to the settings button right, which you'll find right over here. After that, in the general tab, you're not going to be changing anything. There's nothing relevant to the upload speed over here. The first tab you're going to be actually going to is the stream tab. Over here, go ahead and make sure the server is the closest to you, like confirm it. Go, go on Google Maps and confirm the server that you're on is the closest server to your country or if it's not go ahead and look for the closest server to your country and select it after that make sure you select it go ahead and select it and then press apply this is the first step okay so the second thing that you need to do is go ahead and move to the output tab after that make sure the output mode is set on advanced move to streaming and then go ahead and select audio track number one for the encoder you can basically choose if you have this option right here go ahead and select that if not go ahead and select this option right here which is x264 I do have this option, it's better, so I'm gonna be using that. After that, go ahead and move to the rate control, and let's keep it at variable bitrate. After that, you need to specify which bitrate that you're gonna be using, okay? So, how to do that, you might be asking, okay? So, we're gonna be specifying our max bitrate, basically, which is basically you take your upload speed and multiply it by 1000, and you get yours okay so for me it's gonna be 750 basically for me my upload speed times a thousand is 750 that's my maximum bitrate so i'm gonna be typing over here my maximum bitrate which is 750. my slowest my upload speed has ever been it's basically 400 basically so i'm gonna be typing in 400 over there how do you specify your minimum bitrate basically all you need to do is upload the file to youtube or any platform whatsoever and go ahead and monitor your speed basically write down the slowest upload speed that you had and that is multiply it by 1000 if it's in megabits and that is your basic minimum bitrate after that go ahead and move to preset make sure it says quality and for the profile make sure it says high after that go ahead and press apply and we are done with the output tab after that go ahead and move to the audio tab over here and make sure you select 160 for your bitrate after that press apply and then go ahead and move to the video tab which is really important this is like the second most important thing okay so for the base canvas resolution do not change anything this is your native's monitor resolution keep it like that but for the output scale resolution okay so now you're going to be selecting whatever resolution that you're going to be streaming in and flash news you are not going to go above 480p basically so yeah if you have if you have an upload speed below 1 megabits per second, which is basically a thousand bits, do not go above 420p. So what I would recommend for you guys to do is basically go ahead and select basically 480p, which is, which is basically 640 by 480p. And basically go ahead and work your way down from there. If your stream doesn't lag, then keep that resolution. And if you stream lags, basically turn it down to 360p and, th and then go ahead and turn it down to, to 240p all the way to 144p if, God forbid, you go there. I know it's not the best quality, but that's the maximum quality that you're going to be needing. I mean, you can put 1080p over there, but with that low bitrate, you will not be able to see anything. Everything will be pixelated, basically. So go ahead and select 640 by 480p 
and go ahead and work your down rate from there so you can basically get the best quality for your bitrate. That's, that's all I recommend. Okay, so for the downscape filter, if you're gonna be streaming a game, go ahead and make sure it says Bolinia. If you're gonna be if you're gonna be streaming your desktop, go ahead and select Lang Source, which is the sharpest. And for the FPS, make sure it says common FPS values and make sure it says 30 FPS. After that, press apply. And then navigate to the advanced tab. Make sure the processor priority is above normal. And then go ahead and make sure the color space is on 7 or 9 and the color range is on full. After that, press apply. And then go ahead and press OK. Anyways, let's actually do a test stream to demonstrate that you can actually stream with this upload speed. Let me open up my mixer page, which is right over here. Go ahead and follow me on mixer, please. And there we go. This is our mixer page. We're actually streaming right now. As you can see, there's a delay of 20 seconds. So this is this could be like a screenception for you guys. This is basically how to stream on mixer with a super slow upload speed. If this video has been helpful to you guys in any way possible, then be sure to leave a like rating on today's video. Hit that subscribe button because I'm on my way to 2,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.